Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics and I'm demonstrating a new point of sale program. Uh, I have made prior videos showing how to do lemon and squeeze and I'll briefly show you those. Lemon and squeeze are also point of sale programs. Uh, squeeze is the administration program and Lemon is the actual program itself. Both of these programs are available in the Ubuntu Software Center. Unfortunately, even though they are available in the Ubuntu Software Center, the programs themselves are not right now working very well. And this new program is called Unicenta. And Unicenta is a more full-featured program. And it does work very well and it's easy to download but it is not available in the Ubuntu Software Center. I will show you in this video uh, how to download the program and here is the screen and you've got up here administration, employee, guest and maintenance and let me just pop it open briefly and I'm going to show you in the main what this program can do. I set it up here with four things in the database of inventory and I set it up as though it were perhaps a small restaurant. You can set it up as a restaurant and it will show the different tables and it will print also into the kitchen. If it is a retail program it is so complex and full featured that it does barcode. You can have, oh I don't know, 25 cash registers in a very large store, multiple locations, additional uh, computers in the back room to do inventory control, payables, receivables, and then the boss would oversee everything. Uh, let's say for instance you've got a drink, you tap it. I didn't put in pictures. And as soon as you tap it, uh, the drink is two dollars, eight and a quarter tax, two sixteen. Fries, same thing, two dollars, and then hamburger and the total amount is eight dollars and sixty six cents tax for eight sixty six and if you tap here it prints into the kitchen and if you tap here the customer pays for it uh, before doing that I'm just going to erase one two three lines and I made a package of those three together called drink fries and hamburger and I tap on it it's the same thing but now it's just one tap and if you hit equal sign right here it now is ready to pay and you can pay by means of cash personal check or any type of credit card and you if you have a credit card reader it will accept the money when the person pays with cash that's the default it pops up here to cash he may more than likely give you a twenty dollar bill a ten dollar bill and for convenience sake they just have the icons for those denominations and if you perhaps hit the 20 if he gave you 20 it automatically computes the change and uh, when you say OK it prints out the receipt on the receipt printer and it's a very nice program let me just tap this here and there it is you give him back his change uh, then close the drawer after taking his 20 and returning him his change tear off the receipt and give it to him this program has many 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 features and it seems very full featured and you can use this in any kind of store. I'm going to close this now and I'm going to open up Firefox and in Firefox I'm just going to show you how to get the program and how to download it. It is not available on the Ubuntu Software Center and if you are using Linux Ubuntu you should be used to uh, getting programs in this manner. It's very easy. It's a copy and paste and I made a bookmark here, three of them in fact, and I've got the Unicenta features and then here are the PDF files that you can download and, but this is the one that I want you to go to if you uh, would like to try out this program how to install Unicenta point of sale system and I am going to just show you quickly again how to uh, copy and paste 20 lines of code. Briefly let me uh, diminish this and zoom in on it, make it bigger 
and you just put your cursor in front of the first line hit the shift key down arrow that highlights it and then control C to copy it now you're ready to paste but you're going to paste into a terminal so uh, let me unzoom it and I'm going to go over to the next screen with a control alt right arrow you see how that works now control alt T that puts in a blank terminal and uh, let me go control alt 7 and that makes it small like this control alt left arrow and I'm back over to this screen again now, I've already copied it so I'll go control alt right arrow let me zoom in on it to uh, paste it you go shift control V and then put in your password and that's the first line and that's all you have to do and you do this 20 times because there are there are I think if I counted right 20 lines of code it takes about three minutes five minutes something like that control alt left arrow and uh, the next line that you do would be right here shift down arrow that highlights it control C and then go over to the uh, screen where you have the terminal control alt right arrow and then you would go shift control V and so on I'm not going to do it because you know I've already got it installed so that's all there is to installing the program uh, I'm going to close the terminal in fact after you've got it installed it just pops up in your Ubuntu menu and uh, you go up here and you type in Unicenta and it shows right up now see here I've got squeeze and I've got lemon I cannot get squeeze or lemon to work anymore uh, it's a delightful little program squeeze and lemon but I cannot get it to run and I was forced to search on the internet and I found Unicenta and Unicenta seems to be used in quite a few countries it is not specific to the United States as you could see by the icons that foreign currency was the default however you can change this rather easily and once you get it configured perhaps an hour or so with your barcode scanner with your printer uh, with your cash drawer uh, and then how many other uh, of the terminals you have you can set it up as a restaurant or a regular store I am now uh, going to go uh, elsewhere in the internet and I'm going to show you how to get the various PDF files well let's just go to the next one features okay I'm going to open this up control alt 5 and it lists all of the features you've got different skins barcode scanning you can do coupons credit cards history of individual customers you wouldn't need to do that in a restaurant but let us say you were running a business where you have repeat business and you're sending out invoices it is very very customizable on the receipts you can put the name of your own company and you can have different size receipt paper it defaults to eight and a half by eleven that's what I'm printing on right now uh, layaways I remember that from my youth that used to be a thing that people would do they would come in and say hey I'll put ten dollars down on this uh, and I'll give you ten dollars a week until it's paid for and then I'll pick it up I hardly ever see that again it's got all the different languages in the world it seems to me inventory barcodes that's the most important thing you don't have to use barcodes this is incredible multi warehouse multi store there you can put in an image of each and every product if you want to do so you can do FIFO LIFO that is first in first out last in last out however you want to do that you can also do a mini max system in other words uh, reorder the item if it is below whatever say six but don't get more than say twelve you can print labels to put on the items with the barcodes 
you can have, now this is not important in the United States of America, but other countries have got a VAT tax system. Uh, you can have multiple levels of taxes. Here in Texas, all I have to do is say, hey, it's taxable, in which case it's eight and a quarter, or not taxable, in which case it's zero, and that's it. Uh, payment history, you can go in and alter what you have sold. Now, there are security measures too in case you have employees so that they are not, you know, stealing money from you. You can have a, a listing of customers, you can have a listing of employees. It's a very, very full featured program. Now I'm going to go to the bookmarks again and I'm going to go to the bottom and I'm going to show you dot 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 that was features here it is these uh, this listing allows you to download the PDF files and uh, here's the administrator guide so I'm gonna just tap on that and hit enter takes a sec I'm just viewing it now I didn't download it I hit it wrong or something and it shows you how to to operate the entire program. Anyway, I have uh, goofed with this for oh two three hours. Uh, the installation is easy peasy. Learning to use the program, uh, there is a learning curve because it's an and it's it's a very extremely complex program. It would be like oh say for instance you're going to learn how to use a spreadsheet and you've never seen one before. How long would that take you? Or for instance, let us say you're going to learn how to use a full featured word processor. How long would that take you? It's the same thing with this. I'll make additional videos that show how to use the program itself. My name is Pop and I thank you very, very much.